Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 12 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we will learn about list of files option in copy activity of EDF pipeline. So let's move ahead. So in the scenarios where we have the requirement to copy only some specific files out of the folder or out of the whole container to another location, then we can make use of something called list of files in copy activity. Okay. There's some option called list of files inside copy activity. So we are going to learn about that. Now the question arises that what is the difference between wildcard file path and this list of files option. Okay. So in previous video, we used wildcard file path in copy activity to copy some specific files that we want to load from one container to another, right? But the thing is, we can only use wildcard filters when there is something in common between the files that we want to copy. Suppose if we want to copy all the CSV files present in this folder, then we can use some pattern in wildcard file path to copy only CSV file that is star dot CSV. Okay. So similarly, we can use another patterns uh, if we want to load only uh, files which are starting with ABC, then we can use ABC D. Uh, star dot json okay so something like this we can use in wildcard file path but suppose if there is no commonality between two files and we have to copy those type of files suppose i have to copy this file then this file and this file okay then there is nothing in common between them or there is no pattern which is matching between them then what we can do is we can use this option called list of files in copy activity when the source is file data store. So we can specify all the files that we want to copy, even if it is uh, the file which is present inside a subfolder, that also we can copy using a single copy activity to another location. By specifying these file names in a metadata file like this, you have to create this kind of file which contains all the file names that you want to copy from the container or from the folder to another uh, location. Okay. So if even if uh, the file is within sub, some subfolder, then also we can specify like this. Okay. So suppose if this option itself would not have been there in copy activity, then what was the alternate way we could have uh, used is we could have used something called get metadata activity on top of this folder to retrieve all the file names present in this folder. And if, once we get all the file names, then we could have used something called filter activity and we would have written some expression to say that the file name should contain either this name or this name or this name or this name. Okay. So all these steps it we can eliminate by using just this option called list of files. So we need not create multiple activities and we need not write long expressions inside filter activity to filter out only those files which we want to copy. So once this would have been filtered, then we could have used for each activity and inside for each activity, we could have used copy activity to copy all those files which would uh, be coming out of this filter activity okay so actually we can eliminate all these uh, four to five uh, activities by just a single copy activity by using this list of file option okay so this is the easiest way to copy the desired files from one location to another okay so let me go to azure portal and let me show you the input container so we have abc container inside this we have a folder called let it appear so we have a folder called folder A and inside folder A, we have lots of files and we also have one subfolder which has two files that is file1.csv and file2.csv. Okay. So uh, for demo purpose, let's copy only specific files. So suppose let's copy these three files and also one file from subfolder one. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to create a file which will hold this metadata. Okay. So we have to copy the file names. So let me copy it first in the metadata file. So let me copy this one as well. And similarly, let me copy this name as well. So for now, let me just copy these three files. And in the next run, we will try to copy uh, the file present inside subfolder as well, along with these files. So let me just save this metadata file in my local. Okay, so let me save it and name it as list of files. Okay. So let me save it and we have it ready in my local. 
So let me upload the metadata file in the ABC container itself. So let me browse for the file. So here it is. Let me click on upload and let's wait. Yeah. So the file has been uploaded for now. This file contains only three file names which we want to copy. So these three file names are present in the folder A. Okay. So let me go to ADF portal and let me start creating a pipeline. So let me drag this copy activity and here in the source, I will create a data set that will be pointing to my folder. Okay. So I can choose any of the formats because I have multiple formats of uh, files that needs to be copied. So for demo, I'm just selecting binary. You can choose any other format as well. So let me select the existing link service and let me point to the uh, folder inside this ABC container that is folder A. Okay. So I'm not going to select any specific file name. I'm just pointing the data set to the folder level. Okay. So now in this file path type, you can see there is something called list of files. Okay. So we need to click this. And once we selected this, you can see this option appeared that is path to file list. Okay. So we need to browse this and we need to point it to this list of files.txt. That is the metadata file that we have created that is having the uh, file names that we want to copy. Okay. So let me browse this and let me select that particular file and let me click on OK. Okay, so this uh, source setting is ready. Now let me go to sync. So I want to copy all those files into another container. So let me create sync dataset for that container. Let me select binary uh, format itself. Let me select the same linked service. And here in file path, I am going to create a new uh, container called ABC output container. Okay inside this container we will have those files okay so we are good now our configurations are ready i just need to debug this pipeline and then we will see that another container called uh, abc output container would be uh, ready in this storage account okay so let me hit on debug and let's wait for the pipeline execution to be completed and we will see that a new uh, container that will be ABC output container would be created. So let's wait. Yeah. So copy activity has been executed successfully. So let me refresh this ADLS. Okay. So you can see ABC output container is generated. And if I open this, so you can see these are the three files that has been copied. Okay. So let's compare it with the file names present in the metadata file. So let me duplicate this tab. And let me go to uh, the input container that is ABC container. And inside this, let me open this list of files.txt that we had created. So you can see we had specified these three files that is ABCD uh, 2023.0215.json. That is the first file he here what we can see. And then data.csv. It is also coming perfectly and then data underscore 4567.csv. So these are the three files out of all the files present in folder A that has been copied. So now similarly, if you want to copy file present in the subfolder as well, then we need to specify the path of this file along with the subfolder name. Okay. So let me go to the uh, list of files.txt. So let me go here and let me edit this file. So let me edit it and let me add another file name that is file1.csv contained in this subfolder one. So let me copy subfolder one first and then we need to give forward slash here and the file name. So let me copy this. So let me save this file. So now along with these three files, another file will be copied, which is present in the subfolder one. Okay. So the metadata file is ready. And in the output container, let me uh, delete everything so that we will be copying again in the same output container. And we don't need to change anything in the pipeline. It is the same configuration that we will be uh, running. So let me hit on debug and let's wait for the pipeline execution to be completed. Yeah, so the copy activity has been finished. So we are expecting 
that four files will be present in the output container. So let me refresh now. So you can see three files that was coming as the previous run and another file which is present in subfolder one is also copied now because our uh, list of file.txt contains uh, the file name which is present in the subfolder as well. Okay. So on the similar notes, imagine that you have multiple folders as well and you need to copy files from each of the folders to another location. Then what you need to do is in the source data set, instead of pointing to a particular folder, you need to point to the container level and in this file uh, that is metadata file, you need to specify the folder name as well. Okay. So suppose this file is present in folder A and this file is present in folder B. So you need to specify the whole uh, path of the file and suppose this subfolder is present inside folder A, then you need to provide the folder name as well. So instead of just giving the file name, you have to specify the whole uh, file path. Okay. So I hope you got the idea how to use this list of files option in the copy activity when you have to load specific files from one location to another using copy activity. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you like the content. Please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you.